This is a short video tutorial on how to import your KMZ file from the Bicycle Info website into Google Maps. First of all, you'll need a Google account. So if you don't have a Google account, go ahead and create one. I'm already logged in as Bicycle Info New South Wales um, and I'm on the just the standard search screen. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Maps. And first thing we need to do is create a new map to then import our KMZ file onto. So the way you do that in Google Maps is to click on My Places. Big red button which says Create Map. And we need to give it a title and a description. Now, the KMZ file I'm going to use for the demonstration purposes is the Northern Beaches to North Sydney, which is my ride to work. So we go ahead and click on Save. Next, we need to import the KMZ file itself. Click on Import. Pop-up occurs. Click on Choose File. And select your KMZ file. Here's one I prepared earlier called Northern Beaches. This is downloadable from the Bicycle Info website in the Tools and Resources section. So go ahead and grab it. Click Choose and Upload. And as if by magic, the route that I chose to ride from um, the Northern Beaches to North Sydney uh, comes up. So that's pretty much it. That's, uh, that's importing a KMZ file into Google Maps. Well, you can do a little bit with it now. You can um, zoom in, obviously, and have a, a good look around. Um, this is where I started um, the ride. Um, I've put some warning signs in here, just little things to look out for when you're crossing into pedestrian areas. Um, the Burnt Creek uh, deviation cycle path, shared access cycle path. Um, this is a, a ride safely and slowly. There are pedestrians and dog walkers about, especially at night time. Take it nice and easy through there. Um, you've got some descents before you come on to Spit Bridge, and then obviously some an ascent up uh, Parry Road on the other side. Uh, you can zoom in, take a bit of a look at those. Uh, you can click on these features here. So if I click on this one here, it says Parry Road, time to get into granny gear. Um, so yeah, it's uh, for those of you doing this route for the first time or first few times, it's a nice little climb to wake you up in the morning. It takes about five minutes to get from the bottom to the top in low gear. Um, I've put in a couple of little info boxes. There's a warning sign here. Slow down here. There are bollards in place which are quite tricky to negotiate. These were put in place to stop motorcycles taking shortcuts. Now, if we go into satellite view, we can see exactly what it means. Let's zoom in a little bit. Now, these cycleways are just the cycleways that I chose to ride into work. You can make your own uh, your own ways. Uh, there, there are lots of cycling. There's lots of cycling infrastructure to to use. Um, but this is just set up as an example to show you what is available if you're if you're not too familiar. Um, and you can, of course, use this one as your, your route to the north, uh, to North Sydney from the Northern Beaches, if you so wish. These are where the bollards are placed, just here. Something else which is pretty useful with uh, Google Maps is we can have a look at Street View. So we'll go ahead and click on our warning here. Um, there's our description about the bollards. We'll click on More and go to Street View. Once we click on Street View, we'll be able to have a look at those bollards, and there they are. So we'll come in riding up through this path. So just be careful. These bollards aren't there as an obstacle course. They're more to keep the motorbikes out and from uh, taking a shortcut into Lodge Road. And we'll just exit out and go back to our normal view. And there we go.